Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the implementation as well as the explanation of the Chef and Easy Queries question, which came in October Long Challenge. Let's see the question. So here is the question: Chef published a blog post and is now receiving many queries about it. On day I, he receives QI queries, but Chef can answer at most key queries in a single day. That is. Or uh, they are basically given Q queries, and uh, he receives Q I queries every day. On day I, he will receive Q I queries, and at most on single day he can answer K queries. Chef always answers the maximum number of question that he can on any given day. So, if the number of queries suppose on first day the number of queries came as five, so he want to answer five all the five question because he want to answer the maximum number of queries. Maximum number of question, but what is the case here? That he cannot answer cannot be more than k. He cannot he, because he can answer at most k queries. He can answer at most k queries. So that's the reason if k is equal to two here, so he will able to uh, whether he is getting five question. He want to answer five question, but he will be able to answer only two question out of five. He will be able to answer only two question because he can answer at most two question. So what will happen of the remaining question? That will what will happen of the three unanswered question? The remaining question will be carried over to the next day. So for next day it will be carried. It will be added in the the next day. Fortunately, after n days the queries have stopped. After n days the queries there will be no queries. Chef would like to know the first day during which he has some free time. That is first day when he answered less than k questions. So the question basically want to ask to us that the we want to uh, we want to print the number first that the day uh, uh, on which we have answered less than k queries. For example, if uh, there are five if they, the q is equal to five and we are getting uh, first day we are getting one question, second day we are getting two, third day we are getting three, fourth day we are getting four, and fifth day we are getting five. And now. Here I have taken k is equal to two. Let's suppose here I have taken k is equal to two. So on first day he want to answer maximum question, and he has been given one question. He will answer all the one question because he can answer one question because he can answer at most two, and one is less than two. So he will print print this first day only. This first day will be our answer. One will be our answer because on first day only he is getting less than k question. But what happen if it is not one? If it is three, let's suppose if it is three, then what will happen? Then this out of three only he can answer two questions. Out of three he will be able to answer only two question. And what will be happen? Uh, what will happen of remaining one question? It will be added in the second day question. So the three minus two that is equal to one. That is remaining question from the first day will be added in the second day. That is two plus equal to one is equal to three. This will be the total number of question will become on the second day. So uh, the remaining question will be added on the second day. So this was all the question that we, uh, this was all about the explanation of the question that how uh, what the question wants to ask and what's the need of the maximum number of question that uh, is given that uh, k is given what the how we are will utilize the value of k and how can we print the answer we will see further in this video uh, and uh, we will better uh, understand better this these th all things with the help of example so here is the example here yeah. the main three pointer of the question i have told you that we have been given q queries we can answer at most k queries at most k queries we can answer each day we have to find the first day when we will answer less than k question not equal to k question less than k question the first day when we will answer less than k question that will be our answer so let's suppose there uh, q, q is equal to 6 and uh, k is equal to 5 that at most we can answer five question per day so on first day how many question we are getting on first day we are getting 10 question on first day and what will be the uh, at most how many we can answer at most we can answer k so at most we will answer five question and so what will be the remaining question? Remaining question 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Now what will happen of this remaining question? This remaining question will be added in the second day. That is, second day, 
what will what was the initial number of question asked on the second day initial number of question that was asked on the second day was 5 now and the remaining question what is the remaining question the remaining question is 5 it will be added on the second day so total number of question on the second day will become 10 and out of 10 how many he can answer he can answer only 5 so again the remaining question will be 5 now when we will see for third day now when will we uh, now when we see for third day third day we are getting initially we are getting five question and what is the remaining number of question the remaining number of question is again five so again we will get what we will get total number of question is 10 and at most we can answer five so the remaining question will again will be five now uh, on four day what will happen in on the four day on four day what we are getting the initial number of question the initial number of question we are getting three so uh, three will be uh, three and uh, what is the remaining question from previous one remaining question is five so five will be added so what will be the total number of question on four day total number of question on four day will be eight and how many question we can answer we can answer at most k at most five that is equal to eight minus five So what will be remaining question in this case? In this case, remaining will be three. Now, what will happen on fifth day? What is the initial number of question asked on the fifth day? That is two. So two. And what is the remaining question? Remaining question is three. So now we will add the remaining number of question. So total number of question became five. And how many we can answer at most? We can answer at most five. So what will be the uh, Uh, value that will be of remaining question remaining question now will be zero but it is answer all the question but it is answer equal to k question not less than k we have to find that day when the uh, number of question number of question that we are answering are less than k we are answering here we are answering equal to k not less than k so on 60 what will happen on 60 initially first one question was asked and what is the number of remaining question remaining question is zero because there we have also answered all the question so what is the total number of question here total number of question is five, uh, one and one is less than five one is less than k so one is less than k so this day we got the day when uh, one is there. so we will simply print six as the answer six will become our answer because it is the day when Six will be our answer because it is the day when we are answering less than k question. So now let understand it better with the another example. Let's make some few changes in this example only. So suppose say n is equal to six only, q is equal to six only, k is equal to five and ten and let's take it five, six and let's take it three only and Two only, and let's take it six. Let's now see what will be the answer. Let's see now what will be our answer. Here k is equal to five. Now here first day. What will be the num total number of question that we are getting on the first day? And on first day we will never get any remaining question because there are no previously asked question, so there will be no remaining question. So on first day total number of question is ten. At most we can answer five. so total number of remaining question will be 5 on second day second day we are getting initially 5 and but remaining will be added remaining will be and what are the remaining we will see the remaining what are the remaining remaining are 5 so total number of question will become 10 and out of 10 how many he can answer he can answer only 5 at most he can answer so remaining question is 5 now on third day on third day on third day uh, total number of question that we are getting is 6 and remaining question what is the number of remaining question remaining question is 5 so total number of question total number of question becomes 11 and how many we can answer out of these we can answer only 5 so what is the remaining question here 6 so on fourth day what is the number of question initially we are getting on fourth day that is 3 and what is the number of remaining question 
number of remaining question is six. So what will be the total number of question? Total number of question will be nine. And how many we can answer out of nine? We can answer only five. So what will be the remaining question? It will be four. Now when we see for fifth day, fifth day, what will be the initial number of question that was asked? That was asked was two. And what will be the uh, remaining question? The remaining question was four. So total number of question what becomes? Total number of question becomes six. And out of six, we have to we will answer five. So the remaining question will be one. Now on sixth day, this is the last day. On sixth day, the total number of question that we are getting is six, and the remaining question that is from previous one is one. And so total number of question becomes seven. And how many he can answer? He can answer only five. And that is equals to two. So two questions are still remaining, and we have not got now the whole array is finished, and we have not got the answer. We have not got the any day that we will print uh, uh, as our answer because no day, uh, uh, no on uh, any day we are not answering less than k question. We are always answering greater than k question or equal to, but we are not answering less than k question. So what will be the answer in this case? Because now we will not get any questions. Now the after end days, as you can see in the question, it is written that fortunately after end days the queries have stopped. Now we will not get any question. So what will be the answer on seven day? Now let's see on the seven day what will happen on seven day. Initially we are getting zero. We are not getting any question because it is stopping. And what was our remaining question two? And is it two less than five? Yes, two is less than five. So we will print seven as our answer. Seven as our answer. So what observation we can make from this? What observation we can make from this? Just pause the video and think that when we are finishing this array, when they are when when we are not getting any further new queries, when we are not getting any further new question, then and uh, what observation we can make? That what we can do that we can get directly answer from that. What observation we can make? Just pause the video and think for this. I hope you would have paused the video and thought of the answer. That what we can do in the what we can create a general formula in this case. That as you see that out of suppose instead of six it would be something more bigger value. It would be fourteen instead of six. It would be fourteen. So on six day then. Then what would be the value at six day? Then say fourteen, and what was the remaining? Remaining was one. Here, I mean modifying this one, one, and fifteen, fifteen minus five. That is the number of question is equal to ten. So ten is still remaining. Then on seven day, we are getting no new question. We are getting zero, and on yeah, we will add. Uh, remaining question that is ten, and out of ten we can answer only five. So the value that is remaining is five. So eight day because we will keep on doing till which till when we are not getting our answer we will keep on checking for further day further day from eight for eight day new questions are zero and uh, to remaining questions are five. And total number of question becomes five. How many we can answer? Five. That is equal to zero. But we are not uh, uh, answering equal to k question. We are not answering less than k question here. So what will be the answer? What will be on nine day? Nine day we are getting zero questions new, and we are getting zero remaining questions. So we have to answer zero. So on nine day we are getting no questions. On nine day we are getting less than five question, less than k question. So from on So, sorry. So nine will be our answer. So in this case, answer will be our nine. When we will take our sixth value as fourteen, then our answer will be our nine. So now what we can make a general formula. Now just think that what we can make a general formula. So the general formula that we can make from all this is that if we are getting this answer within this uh, Q days. if we are getting answer within q days and 
that within few days we are getting less than uh, getting a day where we are answering answering less than k k questions then we will simply print that day so we will we will simply print that day print that day but if we are not getting then what will be our answer then our answer that we will uh, observe then our answer will be always n plus a of n minus 1 matlab that is remaining that is remaining total total number of question this is not initial here a of n minus 1 we will keep on updating and a, that is not initial that is a updated a of n minus 1 that is a, a value or that is last value with the total number of questions present in the last value uh, last in the last uh, time divided by k will be our answer suppose we put in this question here the last day what will was was the total number of uh, uh, question that we were getting what was n here n was 6 and what was the total number of question that we were getting last day we were getting 7 and what is k here k is here 5 so what will be the 6 uh, plus uh, 7 divided by 5 7 divided by 5 what will be 7 divided by 5 it will be 1 so what will be our answer 7 and 7 was our answer so that is the that is the answer now when we take as a total remaining of questions as 14 when we take 14 and 14 plus 1 15 was the total number of question that was we were we were uh, uh, asked to answer on 6 day on 6 day in the case of 14 uh, sorry 15 because one remaining was added and n was uh, sorry n was 6 and 15 and divided by 5 so 6 and what is 15 divided by 5 15 divided by 5 but nothing but 3 so 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and 9 was our answer so we are getting our 9 as answer so this is the general formula we can make a n plus a of n my man here n is equal to q matlab you can say k instead of n is equal to q that is uh, q given as the question number of questions we are given number of q queries we are given number of days that we are given the uh, each day we are getting new queries and a of n minus a will be updated value of a of n minus 1 that is initially value that of a of n minus 1 that was given plus the a uh, remaining or that we were getting say so, like here initially was 6 plus 1 was added so that's why we are getting uh, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 here initially 6 was 14 and uh, 6 was 14 and uh, plus 1 was remaining so it, it was 15 so we take to taken here 15 so that's what that's what the point that will be the general formula in the case we are not getting the uh, uh, value within these days if we are not getting value with this within this date and we apply this formula that we have validated also this formula that this is validated a formula let's validate once more let's validate once more on uh, some uh, more example let's take another example as uh, that was given as a sample one uh let's see as the sample what was the question that as uh, solution that 1100 okay that is 1 100 now here we are getting only one one, one day we are only only getting queries on the one day, on one day uh, on first day so first day he got 100 queries and how many more at most he can answer he can at most answer one we can also answer one so what will be the remaining remaining will be 99 but we have to not see remaining we have to see total number of question total number of question is 100 and the queue has been finished and we cannot get an answer we have not get or got any answer that is less than k so we will apply this formula this formula is q a what is q value of q is 1 and what is the total number of question on the first day that is 100 there was no previously remaining because there is only one value and divided by k what is k here k is 1 so 1 divided by 100 uh, 100 divided by 1 sorry equals to 100 so what will be the answer in this case 101 it will be our answer so and as we can see in the sample what is the sample what is the answer it is 101 so we got our answer 
so this was all about the uh, approach of the question or logic this was the main logic behind this question that uh, it was easy to find within few days but what after few days what after when the queue has been finished what after we will do what after that day so this was all about the explanation of the and approach and logic of this question now we will see the implementation of the question here is the implementation firstly we are taking n as a, you can take it to n uh, as the that is given in the question here n is space separated integer so we, and k is given the value that at most we can answer so i have taken here k and uh, constraints are big here so we will take long can go 10 k power 8 so we will take long long here for k uh, all for a and then we will take the input number of queries in a and here that each day how many queries we are getting some now i will tell you what's the need of this sum and uh, why i'm taking this boolean variable so what we were doing here we were where we will store the remaining sum how we will update the remaining sum so uh, remain update the uh, remaining question that were not answered initially always the remaining question was zero for first one as you can see here initially for first day it was zero here for first day it was zero uh, uh, for second day from after second day it has came starting it has became the uh, first uh, uh, it has given a, a, a remaining question but a uh, first day it will always remain zero so uh, initially it will be zero now if ai is greater than equal to k we will do ai minus k that is we will do ai minus k here as you will see that 10 was greater than 10 was greater than 5 uh, at most so 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 we will store this in the sum we will store this value in the sum now if this is not condition if this is not condition then we are getting an answer we will simply print i plus 1 why i plus 1 because the number of days are starting from 1 and we are taking our index from 0 that's why i'm doing for i plus 1 so uh, we are storing if it is greater than or equal to k we are storing the sum if we are no, if we are no, to to add further in the remaining question if we are not getting the uh, if we are getting the less than we are answering less than k question then we will simply print the i i i plus 1 now what if f is why i am using this boolean f variable boolean f variable i am using because if this answer is been printed if we are getting this answer and let's suppose let's remove this uh, boolean f once sorry let's remove this boolean f and now if we get answer within these days and we will print i plus one but we will also print this value this form formula value but we have to not print this value we have to print only one value this the, the first value the on the first day which is which is giving less than k question so to avoid this error i am using uh, this flag variable that if I will do f is equal to true and it will be only printed when f is false it will be only printed when there is no uh, when we have not got our any answer that is less than k so let's run this uh, code on sample test cases and try to check our code this is it correct or not just copy paste this answer here is uh, 6 and 101 6 and 101 we are getting an answer so this was all about this question this implementation is here and this was all about this question this question was basically of observation how can we generate this particular formula n plus a of n minus 1 updated a n minus 1 and we are calculating this remaining number of question it was the nothing there was not much if we write if we uh, do some paperwork on this question take some example few test cases and write by ourselves on the paper we will Will be able to identify and we will be able to generate this formula and this formula is only the catch here in this question and rest all the question is solved hopefully you have understood this question thank you for watching this video